Sun Server X 4-4 Service Procedures Replacing a Memory Riser Card Important! The complete service procedure for this task is available in the Server Service Manual. See the link at the end of this video. To replace a failed Memory Riser Card in the Sun Server X 4-4, prepare the server for service following ESD and Component Serviceability Requirements. Identify the failed card using the server test circuits. Replace the failed card, taking care to replicate the DIMM configuration exactly. And when you are done, return the server to operation. To prepare the server for service, use Oracle ILOM to power off the server to standby power mode. You can also use the operating system or the server front panel power button. Before going to the server, use Oracle ILOM to turn on the server's locator indicator. The locator indicator helps you find the server. When replacing a memory riser card, create an ESD safe workspace, use a wrist strap, and ensure that the server is completely removed from the power source. The memory riser card is a customer replaceable cold service component. For cold service, disconnect the AC power cords from the server. Remove the server cover. The memory riser cards are located inside the server between the fan modules and the CPUs. Your server might have four memory riser cards or it might have eight. The number of cards depends on the number of CPUs in the server. To find the memory riser card, use the System Fault Remind test circuit. The System Fault Remind test circuit is a charged, time-limited circuit. Once power is removed from the server, you have 30 to 60 minutes to use the circuit. Press and hold the Fault Remind button and look for the card with the lit fault indicator. The indicator is visible through a small hole on top of the card. To remove the failed memory riser card, lift the ejector handles to their fully open and upright position. Use the handles to pull the card straight up and out of the server. Set the replacement card next to the failed card. Transfer the DIMMs from the failed card to the replacement card, taking care to replicate the DIMM configuration exactly. Tip: Transfer the DIMMs to the replacement card one at a time. To install the memory riser card, ensure that all DIMM ejector levers are in their closed position. Position the card in the server by aligning it with the slot edge guides. Carefully lower the card into the slot, ensuring that it is aligned with the connector on the motherboard. To seat the card, firmly push it down. To prepare the server for operation, install the cover, connect the server power cables, and power on the server. Summary when replacing a memory riser card, create an ESD safe workspace, use a wrist strap, and ensure that the server is completely removed from the power source. Use the system fault remind test circuits within 30 to 60 minutes of removing power from the server. When transferring DIMMs to the replacement card, ensure that you replicate the DIMM configuration exactly. For complete service procedures, see your server's service manual on docs.oracle.com.